Drone video showed areas where only the roofs were visible above the flooding. The region's governor said some 600 square kilometers were underwater. The dam collapse happened as Ukraine prepared its counteroffensive, likely the next major phase in the war in which tens of thousands of people have been killed, millions uprooted and entire cities reduced to ruins since Russia's special military operation began on February 24th last year. Russia and Ukraine have trained blame for the bursting of the Soviet-era Kahovka hydroelectric dam, which sends water cascading across the war zone of southern Ukraine in early hours of Tuesday, forcing tens of thousands to flee. Ukraine said the floods would have hundreds of thousands of people without access to drinking water, swamp tens of thousands of hectares of agricultural land, and turn at least 500,000 hectares deprived of irrigation into deserts. There is a shortage of doctors, as many of them left due to the war. I understand your needs. We will help you. We are grateful for your work. You are heroes. The Kremlin said Russian President Vladimir Putin has no plans to visit the region, but was monitoring the situation. Putin, without of providing evidence, has accused Ukraine of destroying the Russian-controlled dam at the suggestion of its Western allies. Kyiv said several months ago the dam had been mined by Russian forces who captured it in early in their invasion and has suggested Moscow blew it up to try to prevent Ukrainian forces crossing the Dnipro River in their counteroffensive. It is not known how many people may have died as a result of the flooding. So we're still establishing definitively the cause of the attack on the dam in Ukraine, but I want people to know that we are playing our part to support the Ukrainians and their response. Response. Uh, we've provided resources to the United Nations and the Red Cross in advance, anticipating incidents like this. Mm. Those uh, resources are now being moved into the region to help support those families affected. You know, this is an appalling act and hundreds of thousands of people are being affected by it. We'll continue to provide support for the Ukraine. The immediate threat to us and our staff and civilians is the fact that mines might move and that will, you know, that will lead to the, to the need for us to resurvey these areas, remark them as minefields. Um, and, and obviously re, reorganize ourselves in terms of how to approach the clearance problems. Beyond that, the mines might not only move, but they might also fluctuate in terms of the way they're laid, which poses another risk for our staff that, that they need to be prepared for once we're able to clear the mines.